Welcome to the Wheel of Self-Care Social and Emotional Learning Game by Counseling Fanny Pack of Fun. First, let's learn about self-care. So what is self-care? Self-care is the practice of taking an active role in protecting one's own well-being, health, and happiness. It is especially important to practice self-care in times of stress. Let's learn about some examples of self-care. Self-care examples can include getting exercise, eating healthy foods, spending time with friends, getting enough sleep, and caring for your emotional health. Here are the directions for the game. This game can be played in a small group or as part of a whole class social and emotional learning lesson. To play, first print out the free game card on Counseling Fanny Pack of Fun in the Teachers Pay Teachers website. Print one for each team if you're playing whole class or for individual players if you're doing this activity in a small group. In the video, I will go through the slides for you. On each slide, the Wheel of Self-Care has information about a topic related to self-care. I'll read the statement to you and then pause the game and have each student or team playing pick a color from the wheel that they want to be for the round. Have them write it down on their game card under Color Chosen. On the next slide, the students will answer the question about a self-care strategy to their matching color. Each correct answer can earn a point. But be careful, some colors will result in a skip where students cannot earn their point. The student or team with the most points at the end of the game wins, or all students that earn point totals of your choice win. This game is brought to you by the Counseling Pack of Fun, Pack store, of Fun store and Teachers and Pay teachers, teachers. Pay teachers. And is part of the Summit, Summit SEL Social, Social Emotional, Emotional Learning, Learning Curriculum, Curriculum for grades for TK grades through, TK through six. For more grade. information, please click on the grade link can in be the per description. Let's start the game. Let's learn about exercise. Exercise is an important and easy self-care strategy. Being active helps our mood, reduces stress and anxiety, improves our overall physical health, and gives us more energy. So even though exercise feels like, you know, we're using up our energy, it actually gives our bodies more energy. So everyone playing from one to eight players, pick a color. Pause the game if you need more time. Okay, now that everyone has picked their color, answer the question about the self-care strategy exercise that matches your color. If you got yellow, red, blue, or light blue, you gotta skip this round. For orange, it says, what do you need to wear to help stay safe when riding your bike? If you got light green, your question is, what type of exercise do you enjoy the most? If you picked light purple, your prompt says, hold this yoga pose for 10 seconds. If you got dark green, your question is, what kind of exercise can you do inside of your house? Great job. Number two is be kind to yourself. Encouraging yourself rather than criticizing yourself when you face a challenge or a mistake. We are all different and have different strengths and weaknesses. So treat yourself the way you would treat a friend in the same situation. So telling yourself that you're just not good at math or you'll never learn to read is not gonna be kind to yourself. Pick a color from the wheel of self-care. Pause the game if you need to. Okay, let's answer your color's question or prompt about being kind to yourself. 
If you got a yellow or a green, this round you gotta skip. Orange says, why is I can't such an unhelpful statement when trying something new or hard? If you got red, your question says, say I can do it 10 times fast. If you got light green, it says, say I'm an awesome friend. 10 times, but as slow as you can. If your question was light purple, it says, why are you so awesome? If you got blue, your question is, what are you good at in school? If you got light blue, that cute little dolphin, your prompt is, pat yourself on the back and say, good job, five times. Pause the game if you need to for any of these questions. Great job, everyone. The next self-care strategy is taking up a hobby. Okay, let me tell you about hobbies. Taking up a new hobby, which is an activity that is done for enjoyment, can increase your self-confidence, help distract you from anxious thoughts or worries, can help you meet others and make friends and can be a fun and enjoyable experience that improves your mood. Mrs. S here likes tennis, sailing, and riding her bike. Pick a color from the wheel of self-care. Pause the game and then go to the next slide once everybody's ready. Okay, let's see what you got. If you got light blue or red, this round you're a skip. Let's answer the other questions that match your color. If you got yellow, it says, which hobby would be the most your style? Yoga, painting, golf, or learning an instrument? If you got orange, your question is, what athlete or musician do you look up to or are a fan of? If you got light green, your question is, what hobbies do your siblings or parents have? I hope it's more than playing Nintendo Switch or watching TV. It's great to get outside and have an interest. If you got light purple, your question is, if you could learn to play any musical instrument, what would it be? Mrs. S would play the drums. If you got blue, your question is, what do you enjoy doing that you could make into a hobby? Do you already like to draw or paint or um, build things? If you got green, your question is, what hobby would you like to try if you could start a new hobby by this week? Is there something in your house that you've been meaning to learn or practice or even just watching YouTube videos on how to draw an elephant? Great answers, everyone. For the next one, we're going to learn about increasing your fun and creativity. This kind of goes along with hobbies, but it can be a little bit different. Having fun and being creative. Even with the toys that you have, a pencil or crayon or just dancing can improve your mood and help distract your mind from areas of stress while having fun. Pick a color to learn more about the self-care strategy of increasing your fun and creativity. All right, now that you have your colors, let's see what you got. Ooh, if you got yellow, light green, blue, or light blue, you're a skip this round. For orange, your question is, what song do you love to dance or sing along to? If you got red, your question is, what creative activity will you try to do three times before your next counseling session or if this is in a classroom before the end of the month. If you got light purple, your question is, get up and show off your best dance move. 
If you got green, your question is, do you prefer Legos, Play-Doh, or kinetic sand? Pause the game to answer any of these questions. Great job, everyone. The next self-care strategy is actually about helping others. Helping others means helping other, other people through volunteering in the community, helping a neighbor, or even helping your parents without them asking or bugging you. While you are helping others, you'll be helping yourself increase your self-confidence and well-being because helping others improves our positive feelings about our own self-worth and value as a person. It's kind of the same thing as giving a gift to somebody. Doesn't it feel great to make somebody else smile or help somebody else's day or make them feel better? By helping others, we actually are also helping ourselves. Pick a color. Okay, if you got yellow, red, or light blue, this round you're a skip. For orange, it says, have you ever volunteered or given away anything to a charity? If you got light green, your question is, what type of charity would you want to help if you could? There's all kinds out there from, um, Charities that help pets and animals to ones that help cleaning up the beach or people that don't have enough food. If you got light purple, your question is, why do you think helping others makes people feel good? If you got blue, what is something that you could do this week to help others in your home? And if you got green, your question is, what is the best present that you have ever given someone? Great answers, everyone. Let's learn about relaxation. Relaxation is taking time to yourself to relax your body and mind. This improves your mood and decreases stress and anxiety. Relaxation is about finding a relaxing activity that you enjoy and remembering to focus on breathing and being in the moment. It can be anything from practicing yoga to listening to calming music or a story. Pick your color. Okay, let's answer the questions or prompts about relaxation. If you got orange, light purple, or light blue, you're a skip this round. For yellow, it says, close your eyes and picture a relaxing scene. Share with everyone where you are. If you got red, you're going to close your eyes and imagine blowing up a red balloon and then watching it float away. If you got light green, your question is, what music do you listen to when trying to relax? Is it country music, reggae music, piano? If you got blue, I want you to take three breaths. Counting to five, breathing in, and then counting to seven when you breathe out. If you got green, your prompt says, make a tight fist and hold it for 10 seconds. Now relax it and share with everyone how your hands feel. Pause the game for these answers. Great job, everyone. The next self-care strategy is about eating healthy. Let's learn about eating healthy. So choosing healthy food is good for your physical health as well as your mental health. Unhealthy foods and sugary drinks lead to fluctuating moods throughout the day, which can impact concentration and attention. 
So if you're having cookies or soda or something sugary uh, as your snack for recess, you may want to change that to your fruit or crackers or something that's less full of sugar. Choose a color. Okay, answer the questions or prompts that match your color. If you got orange or red, you're a skip. Yellow, name four of these fruits in the picture. Light green's question will be, what vegetable do you like to eat? Light purple's question will be, name four of these vegetables. Blue's question will be, could you live without soda or candy for one month if you had to choose? Light blue's question is, pick a junk food that you would not eat for one week. Chips, candy, ice cream, or soda? And green's question will be, what vegetables do you currently eat? Pause the game for these answers. Great answers about healthy eating. Let's learn about getting sleep. Getting enough sleep is very important for mood stabilization and increased attention and concentration during the day. Creating a bedtime routine, taking a nap, and waking up at the same time daily will also boost your immune system and keep you healthy so that you are less likely to catch colds or get sick in general. Choose a color. Okay, if you got yellow, orange, or blue, you're a skip this round. For red, it says, why is reading a book a good part of a bedtime routine? Light Green's question will be, what time do you go to bed on the weekends and sleep until? Light Purple's question will be, what is your current sleep routine and bedtime? Light Blue's question will be, do you play on the computer, watch TV, or play video games one hour before your bedtime? And Green's question will be, what could you do to improve your bedtime routine? Pause the game to answer these questions. Let's learn about improving your positive thinking and feeling gratitude. When we recognize our negative thoughts and are able to change them to positive thoughts about ourselves or our lives, we feel better and perform better. Forgiveness and perspective taking can also improve your daily thought process, which can positively impact emotions and behavior. Choose a color. Okay, answer your color's question or prompt about positive thinking and gratitude. If you got light green or dark green, you're a skip this round. Yellow says, what are you grateful for? Orange's question will be, when could positive thinking help you at school? Red question is, what area of school could you increase your positive thinking about? Light purple is, say, I have an attitude of gratitude 10 times fast. Dark blue is, change this negative thought to a positive one. I am not a good friend. And light blue's question or prompt is, finish this sentence. I am grateful for my, hmm. Pause the game to give the leader your answers. All right, last round, everybody. Pick a color for your review question. Answer the matching review question. What are two things that you learned about self-care today? Hey, it looks like it's for everybody. Answer the question, pause the game so that everyone can take a turn. Great job, everyone. You learned so much today. Remember the self-care tips that you learned today and start practicing the new ones that you like this week. 
For more fun counseling and SEL games and activities, visit the Counseling Fanny Pack of Fun Store and Teachers Pay Teachers. Have a great day, everyone.